This is $1,000 in cash and the worst boxer on this video is going to win $1,000 worth of video packages for me to help them get better at boxing. Here's the first guy. Oh, we may have a winner already. Oh, look at that. Now, what you want to see, these people don't know that I'm going to give $1,000 worth of packages to the worst boxer. They're sending me these videos to review because they want feedback. Now, look at that position. Is there going to be anyone worse than this guy on this video? Let's see. This guy looks pretty good. Weird bag. He's got like a floppy head. Nice form. Lovely one to hook, but drops the bag. <laughs> And he picks it back up and he just carries on. It reminds me when Mike Tyson knocked that guy down and tried to pick him up at the end of the fight. Punch fast, be first. Ooh, some speed there. Southpaw style. Initially it looks fast, but what I'm noticing is telegraphing the punches, like flicking the punch out. If you look at this in slow motion, see how he drops the hand and then kind of flicks it out. Now it's still fast, he's got fast hands, but if you're in there with someone with a bit of experience, as soon as you pull back, I know that punch is coming and I'm getting out the way of it. Definitely potential, just stop telegraphing. Rate my boxing. Exactly what I'm going to do, mate. Look fast, look sharp. Got them little mitts on. Oh, switching southpaw as well. Oh, hang on a minute. You push the bag there with your open palm hand. You want to be careful, you want to snap your thumb with them little gloves on. But you're switching southpaw. Definitely got power, definitely got speed. But. One thing that I'm not liking, you're dropping your hands after you punch. Like here, you throw your jab, and look where you bring it down. You bring it straight back down, and you're stepping in. So you jabbed, you brought it down, and you stepped forward. Guess what you're coming on now, mate? Yes, that big right hand. Keep that hand up, mate. Change your gloves, and you're a legit boxer. I like your speed, I like your power. Uh, I'm impressed. You're switching stance, you're crossing your feet, you're doing some fancy stuff, but uh, you've definitely got potential. Oh, nice footage, I can see everything. And this is what I want when you tag me in your videos to review. I want to see everything. Yeah, decent. Oh, mate, what did you just do there? You were boxing pretty well, I was impressed. But then you did something pretty weird with your feet. Let's take another look at that. So you, your feet's together. You throw a jab as you cross your legs, step into your right. And then you're in this weird position right here. Still decent boxing, so you're not going to be winning that grand. Oh, some street boxing. And just tell by these guys, footwork, that they've both got experience. Shoulder and body spawn, I like it. Yeah, they've got experience. Nice little left hand by the tall southpaw there. Oh, they've got the shirts off now. <laughs> I like it, look at that. He's getting all flashy and cocky. You should have thrown them punches straight after. <laughs> What's funny is how the guy behind is just walking past, not paying any attention, seeing these two grown men fighting in the middle of the street and not watching. Oh, look at this guy. Hasn't got a heavy bag. Tell you what, this guy's got power. I can tell from his shadow boxing that he can punch hard. Watch this again. Look at the rotation. He's got that Tommy Hearns power, really rotating and getting his leverage behind the punch tall thin guy but yeah looks legit there's still no one close to beating the first guy let's keep looking oh god here this guy looks legit one two one two one one two love that combo nice he's got some hand speed loading them body shots up a little bit tall southpaw wow by the way look at this guy's calves wow them are some impressive calves is that veins in the legs i don't know so we're in the field with this guy. Nice jab to the body. Yeah, rolling onto the hook. We'll let's see that weird transfer of the back foot when you're doing that. And then what we see there, I see this all the time where people are shadow boxing and then you throw unrealistic combinations. Like look at the positioning that you're in here. You like feet is together and you're coming off the floor with like a, a mid uppercut. When shadow boxing, you want to always try and be realistic, even though there's no one in front of you. Because if you don't, you're only going to get into bad habits. 47 years old, getting back into shape using boxing. By the way, that's the smallest double end bag I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. What is it? A tennis ball? How are you going to hit that? All right. All right. Look at that. That's impressive. Oh. It was impressive, mate, until I seen a little sneaky backhand in there. Let's take another look at that in slow motion. 
So you hit it with a little cross, come back, boom, little cheeky backhand. Beginner versus pro boxer. I hope this doesn't end the way I think it's going to end. Oh, the pro boxer's taking it easy. Nice. Yeah, it just shows the difference between when you go in there with a pro boxer, if this guy really is a pro and a beginner, but just learning, light sparring. Oh, he landed. He landed. The beginner landed on the pro. Let's see that again. You got a sneaky one in. But yeah, it looks to me like this pro is just giving this beginner a move around and going light and you know teaching him. So this is actually real good coaching from the pro. Got some sparring here. Oh mate! Mate! That was beautiful! Let's see that again. So he's here on the ropes, leads off with the right hand, the other guy throws the right hand. He's landing but because he's leaning back out of the way of it, it's taking this thing out of the punch. But this is where it gets impressive. He comes straight back with a weight to his back foot then, brings up, boom! A big uppercut lands straight on the chin. Now that was impressive. Let's see it again full speed. Oh, nice, nice, solid. Yeah, that, I think that guy's hurt a little bit. Whoa, hang on a minute. Is this the guy from the beginning of the video? He's back on from roundhouse kicks. He actually looks a little bit better this time. Oh, front kick. <laughs> yeah, it is that guy. He's got the same Twitter handle. The winner so far. Let's see if we've got anyone who can beat this guy. All right, what we got here? All right, mate. Take your time. Now, don't worry about us. We've got all the time in the world. Come on, mate. Guys, if you tackle me in these videos, at least cut the beginning a bit while you're putting your gloves on. <laughs> now let me see your boxing. Nice. Oh, this guy's legit. I like it. Ooh, now that's what I'm talking about right there. Even though he's got his hand low, what I don't like to see, what he did do is what we all should be doing when we're on the bag. He's visualizing the punch coming at him. Boom. Move, moving and come back with a counter. I love it. I love it. If this was a combination for the best boxer, you would be getting it, mate. But unfortunately, you're too good to win. Yeah, you're doing a lot of things right here, mate. But hang on a minute, mate. What are you looking at there? Did a girl walk past or something? Look at you, staring there. When you're hitting that heavy bag, you know, if you're visualizing someone in front of you, you can't just stare at a girl that walks past like this. You gotta keep focused. Focused, mate, focused. But good job. Listen to the birds in the background. Sounds great. So you're doing shadow boxing outside with your gloves on? Yeah. What was the big pause for there? I noticed you paused for a bit. In shadow boxing, when you're not throwing punches, what you should do is just move like this, faint, keeping someone thinking who's in front of you. Yes, I get it, there's no one in front of them, but it's about getting into good habits. So don't just stand there like this guy did, you know, keep moving like that. And also what I'm seeing right now, where I've paused it, your feet's together. We never want to bring our feet together. Look at the position that you're in. If someone threw a punch at you right now, what's going to happen? <sighs> going to fall down like a tree, mate. But it's so peaceful where you are. Look at this guy. He's got fast hands, bringing the hands back to the face. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely not winning the tries. This is probably the best boxer on this video so far, do you agree? Yeah, I can't really fault this guy. I'm impressed and I like the kind of bag that you're using as well. Good work. This guy's fast. Wow, look at that speed. Like Manny Pacquiao. Ba ba ba. Yeah. I would like to see a little bit of more head movement than that, but no, that was great. Ooh, I love this heavy bag. Have you ever hit one of these heavy bags before? I've done a video of me hitting the heavy bag. These are one of my favorite type of bags. They're really big, they're really heavy, and they're really soft. This guy looks pretty good as well, on it, legit. It's crossing the feet a bit though. This is kind of a common mistake I see all the time. I look at the position of the feet right now. You know, I know what on a bag, but you know, get it with them bad habits. And then another thing, dropping that non-punching hand. If you're punching with your right, you should be keeping your left up. If you're punching with your left, keep your right up. 35 years old. Wait, you got 35 years old on the screen to tell us that you're old and you're looking good? Mate, 35 years old is young. Look at Bernard Hopkins. What was he, 48 years old when he was world champion? George Foreman, Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather. There was multiple world champions at 35, so... Yeah, I've done a video all on boxers at different ages. 
So I should know better, but let's see your boxing form. Yeah, okay. Oh, mate, you just paused it there. And you've got that long punching hand very low and you're loading up that left uppercut. And another thing I'm noticing that you're not wearing any gloves. Oh, mate, you're really dropping that long punching hand. Look at this, so you've just thrown the jab. Now, you're slipping the coach's right hand, right? But look where your right hand is. Now, if the coach was an opponent and he threw a right hand, yeah, you've missed the right hand, but what if he comes up with the left hook? Where's it going to hit you? Square on that chin. And look where your chin is right there, mate. Boom. Non-punching hand is critical. But I respect you putting the work in. At 35 years old, I'm two years older than you, and I'm putting a little bit of work in as well. Oh, we've got this guy. He's got his mask on. That looks like an altitude mask rather than a COVID mask. Lovely shot of the body. Big power shot. And what I like about this guy, he's bringing his non-punching hand back of his face. Let's see if he is. Oh. oh, I just paused it in this position right here. Chin's wide in the air, left hand is down, wide open for a right hand. Other than your chin being up a little bit too much and your left hand being a little bit too low, your form is perfect. And I love them Nike shoes as well. Let's see this guy. Ooh. Ooh. For a new winner. His hands are coming very low. No, I have put him in second place, I think. Just because of them hands and them flat feet. And as well, you just throw lots of hooks. Oh, a little rest in between. Think about this, if you're in the ring and you're just throwing hooks, you're gonna get blasted with straight punches down the middle. Work on your straight punches. What's the most important punch in boxing? It is the jab, so focus on that. This guy didn't throw one jab in that little clip right there. So I'll put him in second place. But keep it up, mate. Throw them straight punches and you'll get there. Some power in them punches. He's switching southpaw off docks and he looks good. I'm impressed. This guy's fit. He's strong. Have you got a winner of the best boxer? Oh, then he's, he's finished after them few combinations. Maybe he breathing heavy. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back for more. <laughs> now he's finished. What was that? He kind of stopped for a little break. He kind of stopped and was like, I've got one more combination left. And then he threw that one last combination. And he's like, nah, now I'm done. Look, jab, jab. Yeah, now I'm done, now I'm done. <laughs> love it. Hashtag Tony Jeffries, I love it, he's using the right thing. The kid, no gloves on. Oh. Oh, he's a kid. Oh, I can't be too mean with this guy. He's trying hard, he's a kid. Grabbing his cap in between, look at that. I've never seen that before in all my time of reviewing videos. Watch this, he throws that right hand. Straightens his cap up, then he gets back to it. Yeah. Oh, the two slips there. Ah, you can be better. Me, you're not the worst, but I'm going to give you a thousand dollars worth of stuff as well for using the hashtag Tony Jeffries. How about that? Get in touch, you're going to be a winner as well. Not because you're the worst, but because you put the effort in. Well, this guy. This guy's just looking elsewhere while he's punching. What are you looking at me? What's up there? You're looking at that little volleyball thing and I wish I was playing volleyball rather than boxing. <laughs> Come on then, body shots. You're a little bit too close to the bag, yeah, your arms are a little bit bent. Ooh, a little bit of shuffling there on the feet. Let's bring that back. Little alley shuffle there, watch this. Whoom, whoom. Oh, I like it. And your Adidas Sambas, I think them shoes are. Oh, wow. I've seen this guy before. Look how fast he is. I think I reviewed his video on one of my other videos. Look how fast he is. This is the fastest boxer I think I've ever seen. Kind of like Ryan Garcia. I'm very impressed, mate. I'm very impressed. <laughs> look at this guy. He's throwing them combinations while he's looking at us. Wow, look at that. He's throwing the combinations as he's looking at the camera. Now that's some high level boxing right there, mate. Now this is the winner right here, but if you think he's bad, you should watch this video right here where I react to some of the worst trainer videos on the internet. Click here and watch this video next.